<laughs> Zach, did your mom let you play Bubsy? I, I I think she lets me play Bubsy when we have our costume parties at what home. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. That means. Let's try that again. Yeah. Zach, <laughs> who's your favorite video game character all time? Boobsy. No, I told you before it started to say Bubsy. Bubsy. It's not Boobsy, it's Bubsy. (laughs) Welcome to an episode of PlayStation Garbage where Patrick, Elise, and I explore some of the- I don't know what this this game is. You're gonna find out. Yeah, we're gonna- You're gonna find out. It looks the same. (laughs) Every level. It looks the fucking same. Every level. The best and brightest uh, PlayStation had to offer um, when it comes to their premier console, the PlayStation. We, we also, every single time, we explore a little bit about Bubsy's lore. Oh, his backstory. Like yeah. last time we discovered that Bubsy is actually a man in a coma who was in a horrific car accident. His own fault. He yeah. caused it. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure his own fault. a couple oh. kids down, ruined yeah. a family. Oh, oh you yeah. fell off the, the square. It really is about confronting the trauma of his Yes. Car, car crash? Correct. And you'll see that lots of things in the game are representative of the accident. Bubsy also uses that song from the yeah. Last of Us oh. Episode 3. Oh, on the nature of daylight. <laughs> it's also used in, in arrival. arrival. Yeah, yeah. So what song sad. is that? It, it, it goes like this. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know the one. Yeah, it's that one. When Joel tells Ellie that uh, she ain't never had a friend like him. Yeah, that's exactly. the one. Okay. Yeah. Christ. Well, it's like the Broken Arrow soundtrack in Scream 2. We've talked about a ton. Mm-hmm. People don't talk enough about Broken Arrow as a real touchstone for entertainment. John Woo, uh, one of his first first American. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. right. Right after Hard Target, I think. Uh, paycheck. Because 2003. He's get one. Yeah, Hard Target was 1993. Yeah, we know. So. Come well, on. We do know. we know that the, which of those years came first? <laughs> yeah, also, we do. <laughs> away from the music. You have I think the hard it. target trailer is playing. No, that's, that's just Bubsy's footsteps. <laughs> is there audio playing underneath Bubsy? Yes, it's the hard target trailer. <laughs> <laughs> she makes the game a lot more fun. <laughs> I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot going on in this desolate... Wasteland of squares. Well, what about that waterfall? Oh, I mean that waterfall. God, the, the trailer to hard target is is uh, Could be long. It's long. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't notice. Long. I didn't notice that was playing. <laughs> Are you sure? A lot of information needs to be conveyed <laughs> yeah. in the trailer for hard target. How about we uh, we uh, move on to the next game? Talk about the advocacy Bubsy has done for cerebral palsy research. Uh, or how much he set it back. I haven't seen too many people. Like, well, too many foxes with cerebral palsy. All right, he's a cat. Is he a cat? I mean, your statement's yeah, still he's a cat. Stands. <laughs> too many sexy <laughs> cats with cerebral palsy. Can't but. argue with that. I actually have met one. You've really? been a sexy cat with cerebral palsy? It wasn't sexy, but yeah. It's oh, like a real, it's man. a thing that cats can have. Is it cerebral palsy or is it just any old palsy? <laughs> You're right, okay. One you got me, palsies. I don't know. Can't be one of the lesser what palsies. What an idiot. Patrick. We're trying to educate here and you're just throwing palsies mm. around like they're all the same. What would you say is the, is the the most, the best palsy? And what would you say is the worst palsy? Cerebral palsy is the best. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. okay. Yeah, we'll bias. A bias there, but. It's, it's yeah. the thinking man's palsy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, and then Bell's palsy, which I also had at the same time oh, as cerebral palsy. Uh-huh. I don't like that, because that's a pirate palsy. Oh. I, I had to wear a, I, an eye patch and uh, half my face. I didn't. Oh, move. that's the yeah, the face. Yeah, oh, so yeah. it's a it's a pirate's palsy because you had to yeah, wear an eye patch. Yeah. Paralysis. I see. Okay. Yeah. Turn this fucking shit off. We've done PS One. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've done PS Two. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's left? PS Three, PS Four, PS Five, or PS Two. It's PS Three. Oh, because we're playing a classic. Whoa! Eat lead. Oh, the whoa. return of Matt Hazard. Oh. Is there a first Matt Hazard? No. This is the. Oh, nor is there a sequel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the is... only return. Zach, what's your level of excitement going into this? Um, your level of excitement ranks from Bell's palsy to cerebral palsy. <laughs> I think I am. I'm. I'm like a mild cerebral palsy. Bell. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice. This looks like a game. Oh. 
Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a right half shooting. That should be on well, wax. Ow. <laughs> we should. Whoa. This looks like John Woo. Come on. I can't see. <laughs> Dance with move. Move. <laughs> Wait, are these all restaurant employees that you're shooting? Yes. Yeah. He's also a bad tipper. They are restaurant employees, but they're actually actors. They're oh. just doing this. So this it's not that temporary. Bad. I do this job, but I'm also a pilot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I insist that Elise introduces me as such. I do. At parties. No time to explain right now. Someone is bound to notice I've hacked in and paused the game. So Matt Hazard is like a game character in this world, yeah. right? A video um, game character. Who's yeah. aware of his stature. Cortanga! <laughs> Patrick, so as you're you're picking the games that we're playing for this this series, there seems to be a common factor here. Cool protagonist sexy AI that he bangs. <laughs> yeah. Is that intentional yeah. or is that something you're doing without realizing? No, that's the first that I've noticed anything. I think it's a, it's all, I think it's probably a coincidence. Mm. Probably just a coincidence. Okay. Wait, hold on, is this a butcher shop? I think so, yeah. So do you just sit at this one weird box table and eat your steak that you just oh, yeah. ordered? What's going on over there? Elise can't play, it's, there's red meat involved. Table. Elise, I'll describe to you what's happening. Um, no, you don't want to look. So he's running around. He's hiding behind what appears to be like a buffet tray of meats. He's popping. He popped up. He popped down. Oh, he popped up. He popped down. He popped down. He only he seems to be taking out uh, his his militaristic uh, vigilanteism on the service industry. You're really missing a fun game, Elise. Elise. Well, I'm just saying, you get your you're cholesterol. You're 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 get your, you get your cholesterol, cholesterol down. Cholesterol you get your cholesterol, cholesterol down. Who is this? Maybe you can watch the game Everyone next time. Everyone here. Everyone here. Uh, that's not true. When was the last time you got a physical? I I had my cholesterol checked recently. When? You hey, give yourself yeah. physicals, right? Because you don't trust doctors. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm Why would I? You know, I'm not going to go to a doctor to get a physical done. He, he takes a small amount of blood, and he swirls it around. Mm -hmm. He looks at it. Yeah. And Patrick can tell everything Looks that's good in. to me. Well, it's yeah. not quite that simple. I give it a sniff. Zach, you don't yeah, even yeah. go to the doctor because you're afraid of what they'll tell you. I go to the doctor and then I, but I don't trust them because none of them are, none of them look at me and go like, the, the first thing that they should say is wheelchair. Like, cause that's, oh, the first oh, that's a physical, diagnosis. physical thing and no one ever says it. So I know they're not paying attention. You think they didn't notice? No, they didn't notice. Okay. They're just like on their phones. Uh, well, that's the problem these days, isn't it? Most doctors are on their phones. They're, just on their, they're trying to make content out of all their patients. Oh, if it isn't the butcher's boys. One time I was, shot. I was concerned that I was having butt issues. And Whatever so, that means. <laughs> hey, butt issues. when you get as old as I am. Doc, <laughs> I got the butt My issues. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and so I was like, oh, I should be ready to poop into something if they need to check my poop. So I was like, all right, I'm ready. I timed it up and I was like, I'm ready to go. And I got there and I was like, do you need a sample or anything? They're like, no, why would we ever need a sample? Like, the so then fuck? I just ultimately had to ask if I could just use their bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. How do you feel when you're surprised by a deal? Does it feel like you're getting a treat for free? Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. And wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Listen, I build a lot of model kits, which means I go through a lot of tools, little blades and tweezers and all sorts of those things, so I constantly need to replace them. And Honey has saved me a pretty penny on each of those things. Did you know that Honey doesn't just work on desktops? It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash funhouse. That's joinhoney.com slash funhouse. What kind of restaurant is this? Is the strip oh, club oh my God. Hello! Editor's gonna put in the Patrick Likey stamp. Hello! <laughs> I hate that they're stamp. All, they're I, all the I same. wanted that stamp yeah. to get removed from our videos. Oh, no, people love it. But if Patrick Likey, and I'm trying to convey that to the audience, how do you think I'm supposed to do that if I don't have the stamp? If there's one thing I know Patrick Likey, 
It's a freeze frame of Elise not wanting to see the Patrick Likey stamp with the stamp <laughs> right next to her. So that technically for composition's sake, that'd have to be a freeze frame of Elise with the Patrick Likey stamp uh -huh. and then a second stamp likeying uh, that stamp. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how there's always been sexual stuff in video games. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. That's funny, right? Of course. But it looked like that. Like, <laughs> well, all, there was sexual guns. stuff in Pong, James. Do you say Pong? Pong. I always say everything that way because that's how I talk. Uh -huh. Patrick, <laughs> no G in talk, but yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you, you found get it. to any other G word. Yep. I don't see any of you being fucking funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Matt Hazard. Oh, hello. I take back everything I said about games not being sexy. Oh, oh right what? in the nads. Oh. Right in the old pong. And we they got another that. big name for her too. It's the biggest name I can think of. Shannon Sossman. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't, I, even, I don't even remember what she I looks like. Can we Google, uh, can you pause it real quick? I think she's still making stuff. Nope, not Shannon Sauce right. Man. S O S S. Not Shannon Sauce Man. <laughs> Come on. Not her. That's not her. That is not the face that I had in my head. What are you talking about? That's exactly. She hurt. Oh, Sussaman. Right. Born in Hawaii, raised in beautiful Reno. Baby. Oh, this is a dream. Wow. That's she, how I want to raise my great. kids. So, <laughs> wait, are you looking up where Shannon Sauce I'm just seeing about this kind of Reno, the state <laughs> of real estate. Do you Reno. and your wife want to go in with James and I on a Reno summer home? Are you kidding? You'd find a big, big place for us because we're going to probably have to move all funhouse operations. Five bed, four bath yeah, the enough. biggest place we got. Seven bed, four bath for 600. Hello. Not bad. I think a lot of our viewers are going to be reconsidering Reno. That's the, that's the wow. sounds, that's the slogan, reconsider Reno. Move over, Las Vegas. Nevada's got another city. World-class entertainment, partying, nightlife, and you'll find it all in Reno. I could yeah. raise a family there if I had any aspirations to do so. So Zach gets this whole floor, I get, yeah. and we get the a, upper pow level. a powder room <laughs> and a bonus <laughs> room. Ooh, very oh, nice. You get the optional okay. bathroom with top. Contact the agent. Oh, Zach, can I get your info? Matt Hazard? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mr. Hazard, we heard you're interested in Matt some Reno property. Hazard at CompuServe.com? <laughs> Whoa. Were they leaving behind digital artifacting? Yeah, I think we weren't noticing, but everything is digital in this They're game. Their game, their oh. video game. Yeah, Matt like Hazard's a video, a video game, game character. Yeah. Okay. That's why this game is so cool. So who's the person controlling the game? Patrick. All, it's me, yeah. Yeah, technically Patrick is- You've met him before. It's so bad when you go, like- oh, That's seamless, what are you talking about? We've been trying to get Rooster oh my God, Teeth to still allow us to waste budget on real estate for years. Mm -hmm. For years. And they haven't gone for it? They haven't gone for it. Here's the thing, I can get you a couple acres. Uh-huh. For like $3,000. Clay acres? Yeah, <laughs> Clay acres. <laughs> I call my guy Clay acres. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And he'll get you on some acres. You get me those acres? Oh, easy. Yeah. So yeah. I pay clay directly? 1-800 I pay clay. Are there going to be any Quakers already living on the acres? Because I don't agree with- On Clay's acres? Yeah. You're wondering if there's going to be any Quakers living on Clay's acres. Exactly. Me personally, I don't want the land in my name. I'd like to find some land that I, land that I could make hers. And that's enough, enough. 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>